trial. Yeah. Austrian don't know the word. Um, is this a good sign how the movement of Special Olympics um, is growing and growing? I think it's a reminder, the plunge is a reminder that in the Special Olympics movement we really think it's important to have fun. Uh, sometimes you have to do crazy things to have fun, test yourself, take a risk, do something that other people think is shocking or surprising or scary. Um, of course you can see the smiles on people's faces, you can see them underwater, above water, in, uh, about to get in the water, just getting out of the water, it's all about the joy. Uh, it's all about inclusion. You have people with and without intellectual disabilities jumping together. And you have people raising a lot of money. So this is a fun, easy way to make a really important contribution to a worldwide movement and at the same time have a great time. Um, yes, um, in the morning we talked about the end of exclusion. Um, where do you see the main problems um, until the way there? Well, I think the society in general has big challenges to face, to understand that everyone has an equal gift. Uh, most people can't get their head around it. It's difficult. Uh, wait a minute, someone's smarter than the other person. They're better, they're richer, they're more famous, they're more highly accomplished. They must be better. Well, they're not better, actually. Everybody's got a gift, and the gifts are equal, and the gifts are valuable, and the gifts are important, no matter who they are. So that's important. Then we have schools, a big challenge. We have health care, it's a big challenge, and employment. These are the big, I think, uh, barriers in the 21st century. Uh, fully inclusive health care that's just, fully inclusive schools that are welcoming, fully inclusive employment that's valuing. Uh, these would be three areas where if we can make uh, dramatic gains, we will make a better life for everyone on the planet, actually. Um, if you could look in the future for about, I don't know, 20 years, um, is there a sentence or, yeah, you want to say, okay, now we are at the point where Special Olympics is, where you want to see it? Well, my joy would be in 20 years to see every school in the world have a Special Olympics Unified Sports team in that school and every sports club in the world have a Special Olympics Unified Sports uh, team in that club. I think if we do that, it sounds uh, uh, big in some ways and easy in other ways. Well, how hard could it be? I think if we do that, we'll teach the basic and the big lesson that everybody deserves a chance. And from that, we'll cascade the changes in public policy and social ch policy that will make a difference in employment and health care and housing and other areas. Let's start with what we know we can do. Build Special Olympics unified sports teams at the local level in schools and sports clubs all over the world. We can do that in 20 years. If we do, we'll have made a huge contribution.